Hey guys, I had a request to um, show you how I set up Padlet for my students. I made this conscious decision to switch to Padlet um, for a few different reasons. Um, we'll kind of go through those reasons here, but I had a request from Abby who wanted to see how I did this with um, about 400 students. So I will show you how I do this. So um, of course I had to upgrade. So I had to pay for the upgrade version. It was $100 for a year. Um, luckily, my school paid for that. So I had some extra funds, and they paid for that for me. So in here, what you want to do, um, you could set up folders once you have the upgraded version. So I have some folders set up with each grade that I can click through and look at each grade of students. Um, so I found a super easy way to do this and make it go fast. Uh, first thing you want to do and I can't show you this, is that you want your kids to sign up for Padlet. And all of our kids at our school have a Google account, so I had them all sign up first, and I had them just make one for fun so they learn how to use it. But um, once they sign up, you can share Padlets with them, but they need to sign up first. So that's something I learned is that you have to have the kids sign up first. So what I do is I'll grab my roster books, and I'll go to up here to make a Padlet. And I'm just using the stream template just to make it easy and you don't have like stuff everywhere on the walls and like the grid kind of things. Just the stream just seems to make it easier to, um, for the kids to look at. All right, so when this gets loaded, what I do is um, I'll put the kids' names. So we'll just put student. I've just been doing their first name. And then... Um, the grade that they're going to be in in the fall down here. So we could say this is fourth grade. And um, you get a lot more choices with the upgraded version. So what I've been doing is just doing this really like kind of plain outline. So um, let's see, it's not letting me scroll down. So I've just been picking a wallpaper that's really basic. Um, just the plain white one, like I would pick this one. Um, and then in here, they have an icon that's a portfolio one. And you can click that. So just, I don't know, just pick things that are simple. It'll be the same. So um, other settings that I do, I do do the attribution. That way they can see what things I post and they can see what things they post. Um, also, I turn on the comments and the reactions. So here's where you can decide if you want to give them grades on things. Um, what I've been doing is I've been doing stars. That way they can give stars and I can give stars. And we'll talk about how those stars convert into grades later on. Um, anyway, so from here what I do is I go next. And here's where you want to share it with the students. So you want to make sure here that they can write. And then go ahead and enter in their email. And um, we'll use my son as an example. So um, my son's name is Colton, and there's his username there. There we go. So Colton can write. And I leave on this remake, and then I hit next. All right, start posting. So once you have this one setup done, I found this cool thing where you just have to go in and hit remake. And then I could put in the next student's name. So this will be for student two. And I'll copy the design, which is super cool. So then all I have to do is hit submit. Oh, and occasionally you'll get this pop up here to make sure you're not hacking in or whatever. Okay, so it just remade the same template for student two. So the only thing that I have to do here now is hit share and then can write with my next student. So it goes pretty fast once you have that first one set up. And then um, what the kids will see, and what I tell them, let me go back to my dashboard here. What I tell them is on their Padlet, they'll see their name, and then my face is here. And they know that that's the Padlet that is shared between us, and that will be their portfolio. So it's been working out pretty good so far. Um, we could take a look at my, let's see here. Let's take a look at a student's.
So you can see what kind of things they've been doing in it right now. Um, so here I had them take a picture of them drawing forms, just kind of where they're at in their drawing skills. Um, goals, I had them set up goals for next year, like uh, just a few goals and I allowed them to put, put in funny pictures of things they like. And then here you can see I comment back to them. So it's a great feedback thing and it's fun. So hopefully that helps. Um, just really use that remake button to make it go fast. But once they have it set up, it's set up there till they're all the way in fifth grade. They can use the same one for years. So I'm thinking it will, will be worth it.